Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about section. First of all, I want you to imagine that you're building a bookshelf. Each shelf holds a different group of books. Similarly, in a web page, we use the section tag to group related content together. It's like saying, hey, all these pieces of information belong together. Right in front of me, I have built a web page. It consists of some different sections, and you can clearly see the difference between all of this content. For example, at the top, you can tell that all of this content belongs together. And when you scroll down a bit, you can see that there is some different content. And this is my second section. When I scroll even further, you can see some other content that is grouped together, and that is my third section. Let me scroll up a bit, and let's talk about the hierarchy. So you can clearly understand the difference between a section, a container, and a div. In terms of hierarchy, you shall always use section first, and then pack your container inside of it, and then all of your tags. Now, let's take a closer look to my layers. You will notice that all of my elements are the sections. And how can you tell this? You can tell this by looking at this small icon here, and it represents a section. Now, when I open my section, you will notice that I have a container inside of it. And I have many other tags inside of my container. Let me close this section and open another one. For example, this one. You will notice that my structure is exactly the same. Firstly goes my section, then inside of it a container. Of course, in some cases you won't need a container in your section, so you can proceed without the one. Let me show you how can you add a brand new section to your project. First of all, I'll select body tag and then I'll hover over a div. You will notice this drop down and the last tag will be the section. Left click on it and you have your brand new section. When we added our new section, Let's talk about some different functionalities of a section. For example, let me scroll down a bit and I'll select this section, for example. You can clearly see that there is some gap between these two sections. And how I achieved this? When I select my section tag in the spacing options, you can see that there is a padding set to it. So my sections can be divided. Now, let's jump to some other properties. For example, setting a background. Let me go to the background panel and let's set some light gray. This looks nice. And as you can see, my whole section has gotten this background. Let me show you how can you edit some tags inside of your section through your section. Now, for this example, I'll go with the text tags. For example, I'll select my section, go to the typography options and let's set font color. I'll go with something obvious for this example Let's go with the red and I'll zoom a bit for you to see it clearly and you can notice that all of the text tags inside of my section has gotten the color red. Now, let me show you some other options like changing a font size. You will notice when I increase the number here that all of the text tags inside of a section has gotten bigger. All of the tags except the heading tags. And why is this happening? That's because the heading element have font size set directly to them and they don't pull a properties from their parents. In our case, the parent is a section. You're probably thinking now, when should I use a section? And that is a great question. If you have a chunk of content on your website that has its own theme or topic, that's when you'd use a section. For example, in a news website, each news article might be in its own section. Or if you're making a personal website, you could have a section for your heading, for your biography, for your projects, for your footer, and so on and so on. I hope that you learned in this video what is a section and when should you use it. And also the difference between a section, a container, and a div tag. This will be everything for this video. I'll see you in another one.